Welcome to a Lucky44 Arma 2 Editor tutorial. This is episode 2 on the basics of making missions in Arma 2. The focus in this one is going to be on how to create a patrolling group of AI units by using waypoints. So I'm going to open up my Practice 1 mission which I created for the UT's map in my episode 1 video. I'm going to hit edit to open it up and now it opens up and I see the units that I've created on the map. I have a four-man Russian team that are sitting in this little base on the sort of western, uh, relatively western part of the map, sort of central. And they're centered, their leader is within a 50 meter radius circle. And that circle is a random spawn radius. And then over here on the, by the town of Strelka, I have my four-man player team waiting to go. Okay, but back here at the center of the map, I've got my four Russians in formation, and they're going to spawn somewhere within that circle, within that 50 meter radius circle, but they're going to be static. So what I'd like to do now is I want to add a patrolling group of uh, units and have them patrolling around the base. So I'm going to start them off over here on the western side of the base. I'm going to put them up by the road, and instead of inserting unit, unit setting, inserting them unit by unit. I'm actually going to show you how to use the groups item over here on the right and insert a whole group at a time. It saves time and uh, it's a little more uniform. So I'm picking an op 4 unit. They're going to be Russians. They're going to be infantry. And I could put a whole squad in, but that's more than I want. So I'm just going to pick uh, an infantry section, which is a five-man team. And uh, I'm actually just going to leave them facing north. I'm not going to change their initial facing here. I'm just going to put them in. And you see they spawn in like this, and they're facing north, and there's the team leader. So there's five guys, and that's actually more than I want. So I'm going to left-click on this rifleman on the right, and once he's selected, he's, he gets darker in color, and then I just hit the delete key on the keyboard, and then he's deleted out of the team. I could go by and delete any units that I want to get rid of, just select them and then hit delete and they're gone. Okay, so now I'm going to take my leader and I'm going to drag him over here and then if I hold down the shift key while I have him selected, as I move the cursor around that changes his facing. So I'm going to have him face parallel to that fence and I'm going to leave the other guys there. I'm not even going to deal with them because since they're in formation, their setup, their special spawn is to be in formation, they will automatically get into formation with him. Okay, one other thing you might notice is the skill level, when you place a group, the skill level tends to be very low. And, you know, that's a choice whether you like that or not. You can always change it. Okay, so I got my four-man squad there, and I'm going to give a name to the team leader, just to introduce that idea. So I double-click, double-left-click on him, and in his name box, I'm just going to call him patrol one since he's the leader of my patrolling group. And by doing this, it'll show up on the waypoints, it'll show me what his name is. And if I mouse over him, it shows me too. Okay, so now I go over to the right and where it says waypoints, I click on that so that I can start inserting waypoints. And I'm basically going to have him patrol, him and his group, patrol around the camp. So I left click on him once, which uh, as you'll see, he looks a little bit darker than the other units because he has been selected. So now I'm going to double click on the map and I'm going to set it right near where he spawns and that will insert the waypoint. Okay, so here's my waypoint box. When you create a waypoint you get this set of options. And first of all is the select waypoint type. You have a bunch of different options which we'll get to later, but for now all I'm going to do is tell, make it a move option, which does just that. Um, what else is important? Uh, I'm not going to change the combat mode, formation mode, uh, speed. You have three different levels of speed for most units. Um, I'm going to set them to limited, which means for an infantry unit it's going to be walking. Normal mode would mean they would be jogging, and full would mean a full-out sprint for an infantry mode. It's different for different, uh, uh, different units. I'm also going to leave the behavior mode at the default. <clears throat> and something I'm going to change is the placement radius of the waypoint, which means that exactly where he's going to go 
is going to be somewhere within the radius that I set, not an exact point, so that he's less predictable and it adds more randomness and replayability to the game. So I'm going to set that for 20 meters. And then another great way to add some randomness is the timeout feature, which is going to, in this case, going to create a pause as he's walking along. When he gets to this waypoint, he's going to pause. I'm going to set it. If I want him to pause for exactly five seconds, I would set the middle, mid, and maximum all at five seconds, and then he would pause for five seconds before going on. But I want to add some randomness. So I'm going to have him pause for a minimum of five seconds, a middle of 10 seconds, and a maximum of 20 seconds. I could go on and change that and make it a maximum of 200, so that he would, you know, an average pause would be 10 seconds, but he might be as extreme as 200. Um, but I'm going to actually keep that at 20, keep it a little more, uh, keep him moving a little bit so he's not so slow. And uh, everything else I'm going to leave as it is for the moment and just hit OK and place my point. So there's my little black waypoint with its little circle around it coming off, coming off a black line from the unit. And then and you can see how it's labeled a move waypoint for that unit. But around it, you'll see this dashed circle, which is 20 meter radius. And what that means is that every time uh, the unit goes towards this waypoint, it won't go exactly to that center point. It'll pick a point randomly within that 20 meter radius, keeping uh, some randomness to it. OK, so I'm going to place another waypoint now. And I'm going to put it up here by the corner of this fence. Double click. And my next waypoint, um, instead of putting a timeout pause period, I'm just going to leave it at 0 so he doesn't pause when he gets there. But I am going to include a 5 meter random radius, which you see here definitely smaller than the 20 meter radius. OK, so moving on, I'm going to put another waypoint sort of along the edge of the camp. Double click. And I'm going to make this a 10 meter spawn radius, no pause. And let's come down here to this end and put a point in here. And let's make this a little bigger. Let's give him a 20 meter radius. And, and let's add some uh, pause. So I'm going to put a minimum of 0, a middle of 10, and a maximum of 20. That zero means that he may pause for just a moment, um, or it might be an average of 10 and a maximum of 20 seconds that he pauses. OK, so I'm going to have him continue up around to the north. And I'll put another uh, uh, waypoint here with a placement radius, a smaller placement radius of 6 meters, no pause. Put another one here, have him come across to this line, make that 5 meters, no pause. And then have him go out to the road outside the fence line. And I'm going to make that a radius of 10 meters, somewhere within that he'll uh, head. And when he stops, I want to make sure he's outside the fence line, so I make sure the dotted line is outside the fence line. And I come up and I put another one up here. I'm going to set that up with a little bit of pause to it, minimum of 0, middle of 5, maximum of 10, and a spawn radius of 10 also. OK, so all the points I've made so far are move waypoints. And if I mouse over them, I see move comes up. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place one near this first waypoint, and I'm going to change it from a move waypoint to a cycle waypoint. And that's going to mean that uh, when I drag that cycle onto another waypoint, it's going to create a loop that cycles around. I could put that, doesn't necessarily have to be on the very first one, I could put it on another one and it would only loop on that section where the cycle uh, kicks in. Um, but here, this is going to create a pattern where he's going to loop around the base counterclockwise following these waypoints with some randomness as to exactly where he goes and how long he pauses and uh, they'll just keep looping until something uh, stops them from looping. So let's save the mission and hit preview. And I'm going to just uh, fast forward here in my editor and get you up and see if we can see the enemy patrol group patrolling around the base. So if I go to my scope, I can look. And there they are, coming around the corner of the fence. And uh, that's all I really need to know, that they're moving on their patrol. This concludes episode two. If you uh, go on and take a look at episode three, you'll see uh, a little more complexity added in that video too.